One of the legendary South Carolina drive-in restaurants is The Beacon, a Spartanburg landmark since 1946. Founded by John B. White, The Beacon has been spotlighted in various national publications. It's obvious that White made a lasting impression on those he has touched. Mr. White, he was the key to it. Because you, anytime you come in, you stand at that cash register, you never be still, his legs be moving, and he just be moving around and waiting on you. He, he don't need no uh, calculator. He look at what you got, he tell you out here what you, how much you owe. And the man been doing this so long that White finally made him retire. <laughs> Mr. White, who was the original owner, uh, set the beacon up to be a success, and of course, ran it for 50 plus years. But uh, the menu is, uh, he said that uh, he wanted to give people variety, so we have 150 or plus items on here. We try to give people plenty, and uh, he actually started the Beacon after the Depression when people didn't have much food. And so ever since then, he started a plate of plenty, which is a lot of food. You know, if you got $6 and you're real hungry, you'll get full in here. And that's one of the reasons you get your money worth, you'll get full. You have so much food, you probably eat some on your plate. Everybody eats. Everybody eats at the beacon. <laughs> it's just like coming home. You know, it's home cooked food, friends, everybody friendly. And you meet somebody for the first time, it seems like you've been knowing them forever. But that's just the atmosphere at the beacon. So anyone come to the beacon, if it's their first time, they felt like they've been here before. Some of the same guys are still here now. It's like old J.C. over there. I remember J.C. when I was a teenager. Uh, He's been around almost 50 years now. J.C. Strobel takes your order and is responsible for the unique way the line moves through the beacon. When we first moved in this little building, people used to be bagged up in a single line, high feet close to the yard. It wasn't moving like you see me moving it now. A lot of people just come out here for lunch, they still do. They only have 30 minutes for lunch, so we're gonna get them in and out the door within five minutes. That's the way we do business. That's what we call customer service. I get into the rhythm of moving them, when we like got about 100 in line, all of them get all in the same thing. I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, double chili cheese, eight, plenty, three of them whipping all the way. Move that line, place the cook pick it right up, because they know what I'm saying. Sometimes people get confused and don't know what they want. I know how to handle them with a long handle smooth, because they know my lingo now. And they say, well, J.C., I'm not ready. I say, you're fine. I put them right on down. I say, take your time. I said, I still love you. They don't do it for smile. <laughs> J.C. soldiers on, despite the fact that he is now legally blind. He never let you talk to him about disability, retirement, or anything that would discredit him from doing a great job at the Beacon. Because his saying was, if you work hard and if you believe in yourself, then you will be successful. A retirement is not for me. I've been working all these years, and I'm going I'm to continue to work. You meet somebody, uh, you meet people in Arizona and Colorado, all over the country. When you mention Spartanburg, somehow they've been through here and gone to the Beacon. From the great Atlantic Ocean to the wide Pacific shore, the Beacon Drive-In gives you more and more. From a chili cheese of plenty to a pig's dinner too, the Beacon Drive-In has more to offer you. And that's just, just it in a nutshell.